it's time. What's up guys? Okay, so finally, I'm gonna get on. Orn, wow. <laughs> so finally, I'm gonna get on with the Prism Lens FX Orb Pro Kit review. So, Prism Lens Effects is a brand new company from Jacob Owens and his friend Thomas. He's the guy who brought us Tropic Color. He runs Buff Nerds for you know the music video, and so they created these prisms. Now we all know what prisms are. So this is a prism that I got in Singapore. It you know it's used for like to create cool effects. Way more useful on not a wide lens and at a shallower depth of field, shallower f-stop. So this is like a T3.1 lens, that's as low as I can go. So something like a 2.8 would be better, or like a 1.4, 1.8, whatever. This would shine. These products are different from these products in quite a few ways. For one, there's quality. These are really high quality. Just plain and simple. These are really high quality. <laughs> like the glass is mwah. Second of all, these are mountable. You may be thinking, how is he holding it on a handle? because they actually took the product. Let me just get my handy dandy focus thing. Let me, all the way, all the way, nope, all the way, there we go. Yep, yep, all the way, all the way, there we go. They have literally put a mounting screw thingy-majiggy into the prism. Like, that's pretty cool. And also, I guess dangerous for the glass. Yeah, I'm just checking my focus because you could crack it. So these are mountable prisms. Now, you know, so, some of you may be thinking, but you can just hold it. I mean, like that other prism I was using, you saw me holding it. And with that, well, for one, how the hell are you gonna hold this? Like I could suppose I could do that, but if I'm moving around, then it's very likely I'm gonna drop this. Two, you will see the refraction of your hand, skin, whatever, in the, like through the orb, in the lens. Whereas if you have it on this, mount thingy you'll see black and like that's not as bad as seeing skin tones be like seeing like your hand or whatever because then people will be like it's just black as opposed to oh lol their hand got in the shot what a noob but the coolest thing about the pro kit is not this dumb handle it's this awesome long magic arm branded prism lens effects and the other cool thing is the price this magic arm alone costs 75 US dollars. On other websites, it's like 175 US dollars. So even from people like, even from Wooden Camera, which Jacob Owens actually pointed out for like a full day, he's like, Wooden Camera are meant to be the cheap guys and they're selling this arm alone for like a almost $200. Like that's crazy. And it is crazy. I mean, it's just a magic arm, albeit a sturdy, longer magic arm. It's just a magic arm at the end of the day. But yeah, I do you know, prefer high quality ones to like cheap ones. Like the cheap Amazon ones I have are just terrible. But then the higher quality small rig ones are a lot better. They're not perfect, but they're a lot better. <laughs> so the cool thing about this arm and then this orb is the fact you can then mount said orb onto said arm. Is that how you use that phrase? Anyway, so, <laughs> so you mount it on and then what you'll do is mount it onto the camera and then boom, you have a hands-free prism experience. Experience? Hands-free prism effect. That's the way I'm gonna go with that. And it's actually very, very useful because I used a prism on my most recent uh, project with DivTran, wasting on time. I was using a prism for the shots and it actually caused some of my shots to be out of focus because I don't have three hands. Like I need someone, I need to hold the prism and I need to hold the camera. And I also need to pull focus because like, you know, DivTran was moving, I was moving, so he was constantly coming ever so slightly out of focus and into focus and back out of focus, and I was moving around on top of that, like I said, which made it even like like twice as problematic. So having a prism in my hand mean, meant I couldn't really pull focus properly, or at all for that matter, and there's actually one key shot that I thought was perfect, and then I realized later on was completely out of focus for like a good like third of the shot, or at least the portion of the shot I needed anyway, but it was a big part of the shot that was out of focus. And I was like, oh my God. And it's, you know, cause I was holding a prism. Prism Lens Effects takes care of this by mounting the prism to your camera, which means you don't ever have to touch it. I have thought about how the triangular prism, it will mean like you can't really change the effect on the fly. Like once you mount it, the effect you have is the effect you have. You can't 
keep rotating it every ever so slightly every now and then to change it up a bit. It's just gonna stay stationary. But I mean, like prism effects are cool anyway. So regardless, it would look cool. However, I went solely for the orb kit, mainly because I don't really care too much for the triangular prism. I have one and I think it's small enough to hold myself personally, or if I, if I really wanna use it, I would just have someone else do the effects for me or just be more careful with the focus. But the orb one, I feel like that is where it shines. And their new one, they have a multicolored cube. I want it. <laughs> like, it looks so cool. You get in camera crazy colors added to your image. And I'm just like, what? Like, I want it. It looks so cool. It looks like, like some sort of alien cube out of Tetris or something. I don't know, man. But anyway, this orb. Oh no, all my background lights died. <laughs> But this orb on this magic arm, they struck gold with this. Like, this is such a good product. Now, it's one of those things where it's like, there's a lot of things in filmmaking that are necessary. You need a camera body, you need a lens. And that's about it. But then there's a lot of things that, like accessories, like you don't need it, but it will make the image prettier. You don't need it, but it will make your footage higher quality. You don't need it, but it will give you this look that you want. And this gives me a great deal of different looks that I really, really like. So like the footage from here that I've been playing all throughout the video was shot using this Pro Orb kit and I just loved it. Like I, I was gonna use it on a music video shoot this weekend, but it actually got canceled. Unfortunately, I won't be using this for work yet, but I can't wait for the call to be like, music video time and I'm like, Yes, Pro Orb time. This is like a really impromptu review, but basically it's $175 for the Orb Pro kit. Um, I think it's worth it for sure. And also they let anyone become an ambassador for Prism Lens Effects. So anyone who uses your code, they get $10 off and then you get $10. So it's not a lot off, not with like my Tropic Color ambassadorship. They get 20% off their order and I'm not allowed to say how much I get, but because of the Prism Lens Effects thingy being for everyone, it's fair enough to say like, you know, you get 10 bucks off and then they, you, the person whose code you use, they get $10. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's like giving back to, community, to the community. Jesus Christ. It's like giving back to the community and also helping out the community by bringing out an awesome product that is once again, affordable in the Jacob Owen style, I suppose. Yeah, drop a color, affordable. A real stock. I wonder if that's gonna be affordable. That's basically it guys. Um, I would definitely recommend this product. Not sponsored by them, by the way. This is just my honest review. Like, I think it's a really cool product. I don't think you 100% need it. If you want Prism effects, you don't wanna pay $175 for them, then just buy a Prism off of Amazon or something, or like Gumtree or Carousel. Carousel is like the Gumtree of Singapore, and Gumtree is like an eBay, but not eBay. <laughs> or buy one off of eBay. And you know, like, yeah, it's, it's cheaper glass, but you still get a cool effect. And I would still, like prisms are cool. So just try any prism. I've got a pyramid prism. I don't know where that is actually, where is that? Yeah, um, if you're unsure, just buy a cheaper prism, give it a try, and then kind of see about the cons I meant of trying to pull focus at the same time as holding a prism whilst holding your camera. So you know, it becomes a bit of a complication. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the review and I'll see you in the next one, peace.